Director of Digital Strategy, Sonia Gavankar McKay, and with her is a member of the Saudi Space Commission to talk about their goals for this mission. Sonia? Thanks so much, Duke. As you mentioned, I'm joined by Ahmed Al Ghafali of the Saudi Space Commission, but also Axiom Space's Chief Revenue Officer, Tejpal Bhatia. And I'm going to jump right in here because we're so close to launch time. This is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's second flight into space. The first was in 1985 on the STS 51G. What does this mission mean for the nation and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? I believe that uh, the kingdom has gone a long way since 1985. So many satellites have been launched ever since. So many payloads have been developed ever since. A lot of research were conducted related to space. Payloads conduct uh, a lot of components that we've done that could be used for space and other sectors. So uh, that's a long way since, since that time. And here we are today, just an hour away from this historical mission that will carry two Saudi astronauts for the first time to the International Space Station. However, I do believe that it's not only Saudi that has gone a long way. Uh, I looked at so many research and so many financial forecasts that suggest that within the past 20 years, 60% of the investment in space only happened within the past two or three years. So there is a momentum and we want to be a part of it. That's wonderful. Tejpa, uh, your efforts with KSA and the efforts that Axiom Space puts into this mission allow for a vision for so much in low Earth orbit. What can Axiom Space really do to help nations like the K uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and so many others achieve their goals? Thanks, Sonia. When I think about what we're doing with the Kingdom, from the first time I met Ahmed, uh, my definition of the word partner mm -hmm. has fundamentally uh, changed and evolved mm. uh, from when this was an idea um, and started formulating as a mission to execution. Mm. Uh, we had to overcome a lot of challenges and these are things that are being done for the first time in human history. And what I've seen in our relationship is that definition of partnership to overcome those problems and make these things a reality are enormous. And what is happening in this situation is while we are enabling uh, the kingdom to get to the International Space Station, uh, the kingdom is enabling us to see our vision of providing access to all nations in the world and increasing the cadence of astronauts from every nation to go up into low Earth orbit. That's wonderful. This astronaut program is new for the kingdom. How has this process evolved through this year? Are you seeing that it's exponentially growing like the infrastructure is? Of course, of course. I mean, when we started this program about a year ago with this collaboration with Axiom, the first thing that we started is for the process of the selection, which is one of the main and major milestones to achieve any successful program like that. So we built our program for a selection based on the best practices mm. that we developed together based on the benchmarks from, from NASA, for instance. However, that's only a part of it Then comes to, if you want to build a program, you want to make sure that all the enablers are in place, especially when it comes to the infrastructure and also for the right people with the right competencies to be able to run such a complex uh, program. So we've been building for the past year, utilizing this project as, as a vehicle to uh, train, to get those people with the right competencies, not only to do the training for the astronaut corps, but also you wanna, even for the media, for the finance, for the legal, for the R&D, for the integration, all of it is a part of this secret recipe to, uh, to get a successful program. And this is only the start, so we're going to keep building and enhancing this program till we get to the, to the point that is optimum. Excellent. Tejpal, as we have only about one minute left, what's it like working with individuals versus nations? What's the difference in that relationship like for Axiom Space? Yeah, so, you know, trying to compare a uh, private astronaut with a national astronaut is like asking me to compare my children. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I only have one child, so I'm prepared to do this. Uh, let's start with what's the same. Uh, each of these individuals on this mission right now are pioneers. Mm. Very few people in human history have been uh, to the International mm. Space Station. Today, we're gonna see three more join. Uh, and each individual represents their country uh, and humanity. And they're gonna inspire girls and boys all over the world today mm -hmm. and moving forward. The big difference is with the kingdom, seeing this more as a program. Right. You know, when we were inspired as kids, I'll, I'll speak about myself coming here with my parents or seeing the shuttle program, it was a long time before uh, it became a reality, right. and what we're gonna see with the kingdom is this happening more and more 
uh, as we go forward. And as they say, the sky is the limit for this partnerships, the opportunities for nations, individuals to grow together. Thank you to both of you for joining me. And we're getting so close to lunch, so I'll let you get back to it as we toss it back to Hawthorne, where I'm sure you're feeling the anticipation